All right, guys, KZ Guy 2, no nonsense, no how. Today, working on my 1990 Chris Craft 247. And I want to show you my homemade valve spring compressor, uh, stud mount valve spring compressor. Got a uh, big black 454 here, and I'm replacing the cam, I'm waiting for the new cam. But uh, anytime you put a new cam in, you do not want to leave uh, the high tension valve springs in. This had uh, triple springs in it, so two of these on the inside. And <clears throat> for proper cam break-in, you definitely don't want to leave those in. It's, it's a little bit too much tension and will wear your uh, your flat tappets out. So, and, and who wants to rip this back apart? So anyway, the tool, uh, you can buy one. I'll put a link in if you want to buy uh, Proform. Makes a really, really awesome one. I think it's about 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in there if you want to buy that. But if you're, you know, cheap like me, you can take a piece of metal or an old pry bar like this and just cut out the end. I used a plasma torch to cut that and then drill the 7 16 hole. Or, you know, if you have 3 8 studs, then you'll use a 3 8 hole. And real simple to use. So I'll show you right here. Uh, oh, another thing you're going to need to do this properly is you're going to want to put a uh, compression tester tool on here with the airline and, and put about 90 PSI, around 90 PSI in the cylinder to hold the valve shut when you, when you open it, you know, when you remove the spring. And so the valve doesn't drop down into the combustion chamber either, or cylinder. All right, so with the rocker arm out of the way and this installed, put that on, you know, until it bottoms out. And then you can see we push down on this and pretty effortlessly, even with those triple springs, I'm pushing down. So now put your pressure in the cylinder. All right, so with pressure in the cylinder, if we push down, it should break free. It did. If it's tight, you might have to tap this with a hammer to loosen it up. Sorry about the camera angle here. I'm trying to hold the camera too, but get your uh, keepers off if they're jammed like this one is, push down a little further, and boom. So once you get those out of the way, you pop up, take this nut off, and then simple enough. So we got our triple valve springs in there. I guess these are triple because it has those, those you know, flat ones in there too, but uh, here's our umbrella valve seal and it looks like it's in good shape and another thing I like to do is uh, Actually, that looks like it's a little dry routed, but I like to take the pressure out of the cylinder and then take the valve Hold it with your hand and make sure it goes up and down the guide real good, too It's not binding or anything like that because you don't want that but Otherwise just wanted to show you guys this quick video how you can make this with uh, your pry bar that you got I'm sure you have one of these laying around your house, especially if you're a carpenter and that works very well. I'd say the only upside to getting the Proform one and spending the 50 bucks is the fact that uh, it actually locks in place. And, and so you can lock it in place and then do your keepers. Uh, this one I'm probably going to have to get these you know, manifolds out of my way or risers out of my way too. Well, in fact, I definitely will. But otherwise, uh, get this cam in this thing. Um, quick note, a lot of guys pull the motors on these, these old Chris Crafts to get the cam out. Because if you come across here, it hits right top of the deck. But... I actually took the screws all out here instead of pulling the motor and I was able to flex this fiberglass enough without any cracks uh, happening or, or anything like that. I mean this is an old boat, I don't care about it that much so and uh, without any problems and slide this cam out so that was that was nice. Um, the cam before uh, basically flattened out a few lobes so anyway I'll get this thing back on the water. If you guys got any other questions about this uh, 454 or this, this boat, you need any videos, let me know. and. Please give me a thumbs up if, uh, if it helped you out. And thanks for watching, guys. KZ Guy 2, no nonsense, no how.